If you've seen our previous videos on Google Assistant, you'd know that we love it. In fact, our last video on Google Assistant tricks was pretty well received. While Google has been rolling out Assistant to almost all Android smartphones running Marshmallow or higher, there have been a lot of comments asking how to enable Google Assistant. Well, we've heard you and we're here to help you out. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bwom.com and today I'm going to show you how you can enable Google Assistant on almost any Android smartphone. As the title suggests, there's no root access required. So let's get Google Assistant on your devices, shall we? The process is pretty simple. Let me walk you through it. First, you'll have to get the beta versions of the Google app and Google Play services. To enroll in Google's beta program, head to settings and then go to Google. Here, tap on the three dot menu button and go to help and feedback. In the help page, hit the three dot menu button and tap on view in Play Store, which will open the Play Store page of Google Play services. Here, scroll down below where you'll find an option to become a beta tester. Tap on I'm in and then tap join. The beta sign up process will then begin and it should take a few minutes before you can install the beta version of the Play services. It took me around 5 minutes, but your mileage may vary. Then search for the Google app in the Play Store and again scroll down below and enroll your account in the beta testing program. Once the beta updates are available, you can hit the update button to get the latest version of Play Services and Google App. After it's done, head to Settings, Language and Input and change your device's language to English US. Then head to Settings, go to Apps here, scroll down and tap on the Google App. Here, tap on storage and then manage space. Now tap on the clear all data button. Once done, head back and open up the Google Play services page in settings apps. Again, tap on manage space and clear all data. Now you can just go to the home screen or the app drawer and open up the Google app. Tap on get started and then yes I'm in. Now you should see the all familiar Google Now page. Wait, don't be disappointed. You can just open up the hamburger menu from the left and tap on settings. Here you should find the Google Assistant settings. Just tap on it and in the Google Assistant settings just turn on Google Assistant. Then press hold the home button and the Google Assistant setup window should pop up. Here you can tap on continue then get started. You can also create your voice model or skip it. Well, that's it. Google Assistant will now be available to you in all its glory. If this method doesn't work out for you, you can try installing the beta version of Play Services and Google App through APK files. I'll leave the links in the description below. Once you have Google Assistant up and running, you can just ask what can you do and the Assistant will tell you the things it can do. In the Google Assistant settings page, you can also enable Use Screen Context if you'd like to get info on whatever's on your screen, similar to now on tap. You can also change personal info like the nickname you want to be addressed with. I've set it to Batman because well, I'm Batman. Also there are options to change the accent of assistant and more. There's a lot you can do with Google Assistant like taking screenshots, checking weather or even playing games. So yeah, you're going to love it. To do more with the Google Assistant. You can check out our video on Google Assistant tricks. And if you want to know how the assistant fares against Siri or other voice assistants, check out our video on the same. So that was all. I hope this video helps you get Google Assistant on your Android device. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.